Colonel James Skinner C. B. was an Anglo-Indian military adventurer in India, who became known as Sikandar Sahib later in life, and is most known for two cavalry regiments he raised for the British, later known as 1st Skinner's Horse and 3rd Skinner's Horse formerly 2nd Skinner's Horse at Hansi in 1803, which still are a part of the Indian Army he was a fluent writer in Persian, the court and intellectual language of India in his day, and wrote several books in Persian, including Kitab i Tasri Alak Vam, History of the Origin and Distinguishing Marks of the Different Castes of India, now with the Library of Congress. <laughs> Early life Skinner was born in 1778 in Calcutta, Kolkata, India. His father was Lieutenant Colonel Hercules Skinner, an officer in the East India Company Army of Scottish origin. Skinner claims that his mother was an Indian princess, daughter of Azamandar. She was taken prisoner at the age of 14, and came under the care of his father, then an ensign, who treated her with much regard, and subsequently they had seven children, two girls and five boys, Joseph, James, Hercules, Alexander, Thomas, Louisa and Elizabeth. When he was 12 years old his mother committed suicide. He was first educated at an English school in Calcutta, and then at a boarding school. Career His father originally apprenticed him to a printer in Calcutta but hating the life he ran away after three days. Because of his Indian heritage, Skinner was unable to serve as an officer in the East India Company Army and, at the age of 16, he entered the Maratha Army as an ensign under Benoit de Boyne, the French commander of Maharaja Sindhya's forces of Gwalior State. Boyne was impressed by his family ancestry, Skinner's having served William the Conqueror in the 11th century. Once taken in, Skinner soon showed military talent. He remained in the same service under Pierre Coulier Perrin, who became commander-in-chief of Sindhya's army after Boyne's retirement, until 1803, when, on the outbreak of the Second Anglo-Maratha War, all Anglo-Indians were dismissed from Maratha service. Eventually he joined the Bengal Army of the East India Company where Lord Lake had become commander-in-chief of British India in 1801. Subsequently, on 23 February 1803, Skinner raised a regiment of irregular cavalry called Skinner's Horse, or the Yellow Boys, because of the color of their uniform. Later it became a famous regiment of light cavalry in the British Indian Army and still exists today as part of the Indian Army. He was present at the Siege of Bharatpur, and in 1818 was granted a Jagir of Hanzi, Hissa district, Haryana, yielding 20,000 rupees a year. In 1828, James was finally given the rank of Lieutenant Colonel in the British service, and his brother Robert that of Major. Later James became a Colonel, having already been appointed Companion of the Order of the Bath on 26 December 1826. Other works He had an intimate knowledge of the characters of the people of India, and his advice was highly valued by successive governor-generals and commanders-in-chief. He commissioned paintings in the company style on a large scale. Additionally, Skinner wrote a volume of memoirs in Persian of his military expeditions, titled Taskirat al-Umara which contained family biographies, of princely families in the Sikh and Rajput territories and 37 portraits of their current representatives. First translated from the original Persian by James Fraser. St. James Church St. James Church, also known as Skinner's Church, was commissioned by Skinner after he had vowed, while lying wounded in the battlefield of Uniara in 1800, to build one if he survived. It was built at his own expense and at a cost of 95,000 rupees. Designed by Major Robert Smith it was built between 1826-36 to a cruciform plan, with three porticoed porches and a central octagonal dome. 
It was consecrated on 21 November 1836 by the Right Reverend Daniel Wilson D.D. the Bishop of Calcutta, making it the oldest church in Delhi. Skinner is also reported to have built a temple and a mosque, though details of them are unknown. He had also lived at Jahaj Kothi in Hissa after the defeat of Irish mercenary adventurer George Thomas c. 1756 to August 22, 1802 CE. Skinner, while serving Maratha, had earlier fought against George Thomas. Skinner died at Hanzi in Hissa district, Haryana, on 4 December 1841, at the age of 64. He was first buried in the cantonment burial ground at Hanzi and after a period of 40 days was disinterred, and his coffin brought to Delhi, escorted by 200 men of Skinner's horse. Subsequently, he was buried in Skinner's church on 19 January 1842 in a vault of white marble immediately below the communion table. <laughs> Personal life All his three sisters married gentlemen in the East India Company's service, while his elder brother, David, went to sea, and his younger brother, Robert, also became a soldier. Emily Eden, sister of Governor General George Auckland records in 1838 that Major Robert Skinner, was the same sort of melodramatic character as his elder brother and made a tragic end. Suspecting his wife of infidelity, he killed several of his servants and then shot himself. It is said that James Skinner had 14 wives and many children, one of whom was Mrs. Wagentriber, who managed to escape the 1857 revolt due to the fact that he was greatly revered by the Indian Army regiments. His eldest son, also known as James Skinner, became an officer in Skinner's horse and was killed in action during the First Anglo Afghan War. Many of his family members and their descendants are buried in Skinner's family plot, north of St. James Church, Delhi. <laughs> descendants There is mention of a grandson, also called James Skinner, who erected a statue of Queen Victoria upon her death, at his own expense at Chandani Choke, Delhi, in 1960. Lieutenant Colonel Michael Skinner, a great great grandson, took command of Skinner's horse, and was the first Skinner to command the Skinner's Horse Regiment since its founder's death. In 2003, when a special service was held at St. James Church, Delhi to commemorate 200 years of Skinner's horse, the cavalry regiment raised by Skinner in 1803, amongst those present was Patricia Sedwards nay Skinner, niece of Lieutenant Colonel Michael Skinner, Brigadier Michael Skinner, descendant of the legendary James Skinner, Commandant Skinner Horse. Topic. In popular culture Vikram Chandra's debut novel, Red Earth and Pouring Rain 1995, was inspired by the autobiography of James Skinner. In 1979, Philip Mason published Skinner of Skinner's Horse, a fictional portrait, based upon Skinner's life. Topic works Military memoir of Lieutenant Col. James Skinner, C.B., for many years a distinguished officer commanding a corps of irregular cavalry in the service of the HEIC, interspersed with notices of several of the principal personages who distinguished themselves in the service of the native powers, by James Bailey Fraser. Published by Smith, Elder, 1851. Full book The Recollections of Skinner of Skinner's Horse, James Skinner and His Yellow Boys, a regular cavalry in the wars of India between the British, Maratha, Rajput, Mughal, Sikh and Pandari forces, by James Skinner. Leonaur, 2006. ISBN 1-84677-061-0. Further reading. Sikandar Sahib, The Life of Colonel James Skinner, 1778-1841, by Dennis Holman. London, Heinemann, 1961. Between Battles, The Album of Colonel James Skinner, by Milfred Archer. London. Alf Alec and Scorpio, 1982. <laughs> Notes <laughs>